Love these big, beautiful skies out here at the lake. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Woodland Reboot. I'm not at the Reboot property today. I'm over here at my cottage property. I've shown this property maybe once or twice. I know I did in a sailing video out there on the beautiful lake. Late September right now, as you can see behind me, I've got a birch tree that came down out of this two birch trees that stand right over here. See them up there. Anyways, this one came down eight weeks ago maybe, and I just haven't got to it until now. Plus, sawing that up, taking this other tree down, as you can see here, it's quite rotten in there. So getting busy and taking these down in the hot months of July and August is not my idea of fun. So, what I'm gonna do is, first I think what I'll do is I'll chop this one up into firewood, and then we'll take down this second tree right over here. All right, everybody, let's get busy and get these trees down. Blow! <whistles> Blow! Oh, well, he just found Blue. She ran up the car. Uh, my wife went up to a neighbor's house. She raced up there all the way, so that was a little bit of time wasted, but gladly Blue is uh, okay. Let's get this work done. Okay, we're gonna take this load and just dump it where we want it. We're stacking. Not the biggest pieces of wood you're looking at. It'd be four inches by five and a half inches, 12 to 16 inches long, birch. It'll season over the winter time under 
ready for fires and bonfires. Summer of next year. All right, that's one tree out of the way. Let's get this other birch tree down. And you can see here the reason why we're taking it down. The first one fell clearly because it's rotten down here. It's got a nice lean toward the bush there. So we're gonna drop it in that direction, chop it up and store it underneath the porch. Okay, so it's leaning over the woods there. And we're just going to keep it going in that direction. Try to make it fall very close to where the first tree had fallen down naturally. So now we're going to cut a wedge out of this side in the direction we want it to go. Okay, now we're going to hit it with a back cut. It's a good sized birch, a lot of rot in there, good time to take it down. Fell pretty much where I wanted it, so that was a good cut. One last cut and it's all done. All done. These are some good sized birch logs. Maybe just one more in the front.
These will dry and we'll hit them with the log splitter in the spring. It's gonna make beautiful firewood. There we go, also down this side here, we've stacked a lot of the birch here. It'll dry and cure nicely over the winter months. Well, in terms of this stump here, you can see how bad the rod is. I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's actual, yeah, you can see the daylight down at the far end there. Let me get my foot in there almost. See my hand now? So it was badly rotted. It, it unfortunately half of it blew down the storm or came down and then I've just taken down the second piece here. So that's all clean. That's the workout here at the cottage. One last thing to do. Let's clean this sawdust out of here.